It's week 11 of the 2022 season, and we'll keep our eye on A.J. Terrell. He got the QB not once, but twice last week with a pair of interceptions. It's the Falcons and the Bears next on Madden NFL 23. Starting the drive with Algier. First and ten, it's Patterson. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. On second down, a run with Patterson. And this will be a Falcons first down. First down. They'll set up a throw. He's got his tight end, Anthony Furkser. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win, but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. And he's going to have another first down. Controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 27. On play action, they'll throw. They'll get him to the ground. He'll drop to throw. This one incomplete. Probably should have been picked. A little nonchalant with the throw to the safety valve. They'll drop to throw. He's got his tight end over the middle. That's Ferkser. And they get him down. But not He'll look to throw. That'll be taken in by Demir Bird. And he's going to have another first down. Patterson, he'll try it up the middle. Four. They'll look to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Bird. Ready. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Zaki is here hauling it in. And he's going to have another first down as the tackles. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Rolling to it. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, competition comes up in so many different ways. And right now, this unit... Their competition is who's going to get to the quarterback the most times. Had about five sacks last week. And we just saw their first one of this game. Back to throw. And it's knocked away and incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage.
They'll come out throwing here on first down. And this pass is caught by... Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Throws right back to London, complete again. They'll look to throw again. That ball nearly intercepted. The rookie had his hands on it, but couldn't pull it in. Ready. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Gets this to Furkser, the tight end. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. That'll be caught downfield by Bird. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the long gone. That they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. And he's going to have another first down as they take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. Olamide Zacchaeus. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Falcons have taken the lead here this third quarter. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw Charles, though. Authority, just as you described, big-time arm right there. And let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And in the third quarter here, they were trying to push that to a three-point game, but instead it'll stay at one. And I'm a big proponent of not chasing points or going for two too early, but in this case, I understand. Beginning on the ground with Patterson. And that closed up. A big hit in order to get that one yard. A second down. That'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. That's Cordero Patterson hauling it in. And down he'll go at the 25. to throw now in his own end zone over the middle caught by London hey. on third and short they'll try and pick it up through the air complete to Zacchaeus and he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL maybe they're not quite as precise second and nine now throw caught here by Bird. And they we have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. They'll set up a throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 24-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time. Out of the gun now on third down. Got his man. It's London. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Back to throw here. Being chased. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Six-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. I'm pretty sure that that was a passing play, but he took off pretty quickly and ran with it. Love his decisiveness on it because you're exactly right. He was supposed to go back in the pocket and survey the field and throw the football. But when that hole opened, he just said, forget it. Let's go. And boy, did that work out well.
Ready. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to get a solid game. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. And he is going to lose yardage here. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And it'll be a third and about 13. Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks it off? Right, you don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try to pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't lose any yardage. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up... They'll run with Patterson, and this will result in him losing yardage. Go. Algier, he is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage. Third and goal. They're going to look to throw. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Tavon Young. And the Bears are right back in this football game. We're holding on to the lead at this stage in the second half. Those are the types of plays you really want to try and stay away from. And when you're a rookie, keeping your focus is something that you still have to work on all the time because there's so many distractions around you between the crowd noise and your coaches and your teammates. But the other part, you've got to learn how to finish. It's the two Fs for a rookie quarterback. So now Fields and the Bears down by eight. Ready. Patterson running between the tackles. A good display of... They'll go again with Patterson. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. It's a quarterback sneak, and he is over the line for another rushing touchdown. Is he a quarterback or is he a tailback? It's their quarterback with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Falcons extend their lead, and they are about to get to a 9-2 record. second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. And what's the old expression? That's not quite how I saw it playing out in my head. You know they didn't expect this at all. As you mentioned, went into the half of the lead. Losing the game was one thing. Getting shut out in the second half, that's a surprise. So for the Falcons, they just keep on rolling as they move to 9-2 with a win here. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Washington Commanders. Meanwhile, for the Bears...